HarperCollins Publishers LLC is one of the world's largest publishing companies and, alongside Hachette, Holtz Brink Macmillan, Penguin Random House, and Simon & Schuster, is part of the Big Five English language publishing companies. Headquartered in New York City, the company is a subsidiary of News Corporation. The company name is a combination of Harper and Rowell Euro an American publishing company acquired in 1987, itself the result of an earlier merger of Harper and Brothers and Row, Peterson and Companion Euro, and UK publishing company William Collins, Sons, acquired in 1990. The worldwide CEO of HarperCollins is Brian Murray. HarperCollins has publishing groups in the United States, Canada, the United Kingdom, Australia, New Zealand, and India. The company publishes many different imprints, both former independent publishing houses and new imprints. History Collins Harper Mergers and Acquisitions In 1989, Collins was bought by Rupert Murdoch's News Corporation, and the publisher was combined with Harper and Row, which News Corp had acquired two years earlier. In addition to the simplified and merged name, the logo for Harper Collins was derived from the torch logo for Harper and Row, and the fountain logo for Collins, which were combined into a stylized set of flames atop waves. In 1999, News Corporation purchased the Hearst Book Group, consisting of William Morrow and Company and Avon Books. These imprints are now published under the rubric of Harper Collins. Harper Collins bought educational publisher Letts and Lonsdale in March 2010. In 2011, HarperCollins announced they had agreed to acquire the publisher Thomas Nelson. The purchase was completed on July 11, 2012 with an announcement that Thomas Nelson would operate independently given the position it has in Christian book publishing. Management History Jane Friedman was CEO for HarperCollins from 1997 to 2008. Notable management figures include Lisa Sharkey, current Senior Vice President and Director of Creative Development and Barry Winkerman from 1989 to 1994. United States v. Apple Incorporated. In April 2012, the United States Department of Justice filed United States v. Apple Incorporated, naming Apple, HarperCollins, and four other major publishers as defendants. The suit alleged that they conspired to fix prices for e-books, and weaken Amazon.com's position in the market, in violation of antitrust law. In December 2013, a federal judge approved a settlement of the antitrust claims, in which HarperCollins and the other publishers paid into a fund that provided credits to customers who had overpaid for books due to the price fixing. U.S. Warehousing Closings It was announced to employees privately and then later in the day publicly on Monday, November 5, 2012 that HarperCollins is closing its remaining two U.S. warehouses, in order to merge shipping and warehousing operations with R.R. Donnelly in Indiana. The Scranton, Pennsylvania warehouse will close in September 2013 and a Nashville, Tennessee warehouse, under the name Thomas Nelson, in winter of 2013. Several office positions and departments will continue to work for HarperCollins in Scranton, but in a new location. The Scranton warehouse closing will eliminate approximately 200 jobs, and the Nashville warehouse closing will eliminate up to 500 jobs. HarperCollins previously closed two U.S. warehouses, one in Williamsport, Pennsylvania in 2011 and another in Grand Rapids, Michigan in 2012. A Euro OE we have taken a long-term, global view of our print distribution and are committed to offering the broadest possible reach for our authors, said HarperCollins chief executive Brian Murray. According to Publishers Weekly, we are retooling the traditional distribution model to ensure we can competitively offer the entire HarperCollins catalog to customers regardless of location. A Euro company officials attribute the closings and mergers to the rapidly growing demand for ebook formats and the decline in print purchasing. Notable books HarperCollins maintains the backlist of many of the books originally published by their many merged imprints in addition to having picked up new authors since the merger. Authors published originally by Harper include Mark Twain, the Bronte sisters and William Makepeace Thackeray. Authors published originally by Collins include H. G. Wells, Agatha Christie and J. R. Tolkien. This is a list of some of the more noted books, and series, 
published by HarperCollins and their various imprints and merged publishing houses. The Art of Loving, Eric Fromm, Master and Commander, Patrick O'Brien, The Lee Abhorn and Chi Books, Tony Hillerman, Collins English Dictionary, A Major Dictionary, Sharp Series, Bernard Cornwell, Frida, A Biography of Frida Kahlo, Hayden Herrera, adapted into the 2002 film Frida, Weed World, Clive Barker, The Paladin Poetry Series, Of Gravity and Angels, Jane Hirschfield, The Alchemist, Paul Okelho, subsequent novels in the Take Back Plenty series, Colin Greenland, The Language of the Genes, Steve Jones, The Gifts of the Body, Rebecca Brown, Mike Reserves, Douglas Coupland, Shuka Satati, Seventy Tales of the Parrot A New Translation from the Sanskrit by A. N. D. Haksa, First They Killed My Father, A Daughter of Cambodia Remembers, Lungen, Bel Canto, and Patchett A Theory of Relativity. Jacqueline Mitchard, recent volumes in the Discworld series by Terry Pratchett, American Gods, Neil Gaiman, Boonville, Robert Mailer Anderson, Quicksilver, Neil Stevenson, Don Quixote, a new translation by Edith Grossman, Acquainted with the Night, Christopher Dudney, Dark House, Alex Barkley, Anansi Boys, Neil Gaiman, The Hot Kid, Elmore Leonard, Freaky Green Eyes, by Joyce Carol Oates, Next, Michael Crichton, Domicilium Decoratus, Kelly Weasler ISBN 0-06-089798. Minus 8, Pretty Little Liars, Sarah Shepard, Mr. Be Gone, Clive Barker, The Children of Harin, J.R. Tolkien, Loving Natalie, A Mother's Testament of Hope and Faith, Beth Holloway, The Raw Shark Texts, Stephen Hall, The Family, The Secret Fundamentalism at the Heart of American Power, Jeff Charlotte. Going Rogue, An American Life, Sarah Palin, Solo, Rana Dasgupta, The Legend of Sigurd and Gudrien, J.R. Tolkien, Pirate Latitudes, Michael Crichton, Wolf Hall, Hilary Mantle, Shattered, The True Story of a Mother's Love, A Husband's Betrayal, and A Cold-Blooded Texas Murder, Catherine Casey, Micro, Michael Crichton, The Dressmaker of Kerkner, Gail Zimch Lemon, A Shot at History, my Obsessive Journey to Olympic Gold by Abhine of Bindra, Harper Children's Books, Children's Book Editor Ursula Nordstrom was the director of Harper's Department of Books for Boys and Girls from 1940 to 1973, overseeing the publication of classics such as Good Night Moon, Where the Wild Things Are, The Giving Tree, Charlotte's Web, Beverly Cleary's series starring Ramona Quimby, and Harold and the Purple Crayon. They were the publishing home of Morris Sendak. Shel Silverstein, and Margaret Wise Brown. In 1998, Nordstrom's personal correspondence was published as Dear Genius, The Letters of Ursula Nordstrom, edited by Charlotte Zolotto. Zolotto began her career as a stenographer to Nordstrom, became her protege, and went on to write more than 80 books and edit hundreds of others, including Nordstrom's The Secret Language and the works of Paul Fleischmann. Zolotto later became head of the children's books department, and went on to become the company's first female vice president. The Chronicles of Narnia series by C.S. Lewis, while not originally published by a merged imprint of HarperCollins, were acquired by the publisher. HarperCollins has published the following notable children's books. The I Can Read Series for beginning readers, including the Amelia Bedelia, Frog and Toad and Little Bear books. The Warriors series, A Series of Unfortunate Events, Lemony Snicket, A Taste of Blackberries, Doris Buchanan Smith, Skullduggery Pleasant series, Derek Landy, Bart Simpson's Guide to Life, Love That Dog, Sharon Creech, The Giving Tree, Shel Silverstein, Where the Sidewalk Ends, Shel Silverstein, The Saga of Darren Shan, Darren Shan, Cirque du Freak Manga series, Darren Shan and Takahiro Arai. The Dangerous Book for Boys, Con and Howley Golden, Sabriel, Garth Nix, A Barrel of Laughs, A Veil of Tears, Jules Pfeiffer, Mr. God, This is Anna, Finn, The Little House on the Prairie series, Laura Ingalls Wilder, The Wolves in the Walls, Neil Gaiman and Dave McKean, Monster, Walter Dean Myers, Coraline, Neil Gaiman and Dave McKean, The Pretty Little Liars series, by Sarah Shepard, Surviving the Apple Whites, Stephanie S. Tolan, Ruby Reed Fort, Lauren Child, 
Divergent, Veronica Roth, The School for Good and Evil, Solman Chainani, Imprints, HarperCollins has over 30 book imprints, most of which are based in the United States. Collins still exists as an imprint, chiefly for wildlife and natural history books, field guides, as well as English and bilingual dictionaries based on the Bank of English, a large corpus of contemporary English texts. On February 8, 2013 it was announced that some parts of the Collins non-fiction imprint would be merged with a Harper Press imprint to form the new William Collins imprint. Harper Collins imprints, include Business Strategy Web Approach, in order to both boost book sales and reach the online market, HarperCollins has created a browsing feature on its website, whereby customers can read selected excerpts from books before purchasing. There are some concerns among publishers with this approach because they feel that the online books could be exploited by file sharing. In addition, excerpts of books are also available to mobile phone users. HarperCollins were first to market with an innovative approach to slush pile management with the introduction of the Autonomy website. From 2009 to 2010, they operated BookArmy, a social networking site. At the beginning of October 2013, the company announced a partnership with online digital library SCRIBD. The official statement revealed that the majority of the HarperCollins US and HarperCollins Christian catalogs will be available in SCRIBD's subscription service. Chantal Restivo Alessi, chief digital officer at HarperCollins, explained to the media that the deal represents the first time that the publisher has released such a large portion of its catalog. Speakers Bureau the HarperCollins Speakers Bureau is the first lecture agency to be created by a major publishing house. It was launched in May 2005 as a division of HarperCollins to book paid speaking engagements for the authors HarperCollins, and its sister companies, Publish. Andrea Rosen is the director. Some of the notable authors the HCSB represents include Carol Alt, Dennis Lane, Gregory Maguire, Danny Mayer, Mamet Oz, Sidney Poitier, Ted Sorensen, and Kate White. Harper Studio HarperCollins announced Harper Studio in 2008 as a new, experimental unit that will eliminate the traditional profit distributions to authors. The long-established author advances and bookseller returns has not proved to be very profitable to either the author or the publisher. The approach Harper Studio is now taking is to offer little or no advance but instead to split the profit 50% with the author. The division was headed by Bob Miller, previously the founding publisher of Hyperion, the adult books division of the Walt Disney Company. Harper Studio folded in March 2010 after Miller left for Workman Publishing. HarperCollins India HarperCollins India was started in 2003 as a joint venture between Living Media and HarperCollins. This combination makes HarperCollins India a major publisher in India. HarperCollins took full control of the venture at the end of 2012. Controversies, If I Did It If I Did It was a book written by O.J. Simpson about his alleged murder of Nicole Simpson, which was planned as a HarperCollins title, and which attracted considerable controversy and a legal battle over publication. Ben Collins, in August 2010 the company became embroiled in a legal battle with the BBC after a book it was due to publish, later identified as the forthcoming autobiography of racing driver Ben Collins, revealed the identity of the stick from Top Gear. In his blog, Top Gear executive producer Andy Willman accused Harper Collins of hoping to cash in on the BBC's intellectual property, describing the publishers as a bunch of chances. On September 1 the BBC's request for an injunction preventing the book from being published was turned down, effectively confirming the book's revelation that the stick was indeed Collins. East and West, the company became embroiled in controversy in 1998 after it was revealed it blocked Chris Patton's book East and West after a direct intervention by the then CEO of News International, Rupert Murdoch. It was later revealed by Stuart Profite the editor who had worked on the book for HarperCollins, that this intervention was designed to appease the Chinese authorities of whom the book was critical as Murdoch intended to extend his business empire into China and did not wish to cause problems there by allowing the book to be published. 
Murdoch's intervention caused both Profite's resignation from the company and outrage from international media outside of News International. Chris Patton later published with Macmillan Publishing, initially in America, where it carried the logo the book that Rupert Murdoch refused to publish. After a successful legal campaign against HarperCollins, Patton went on to publish the book in the UK in September 1998 after accepting a sum of £500,000 and receiving an apology from Rupert Murdoch. Ebooks, in March 2011, HarperCollins announced it would distribute ebooks to libraries with DRM enabled to delete the item after being lent 26 times. HarperCollins has drawn criticism of this plan, in particular its likening ebooks, which are purely digital, to traditional paperback trade books, which were over time. See also Cabildo Euro, a research facility set up by Collins in conjunction with the University of Birmingham. Harper's Magazine, a Euro, a separately owned magazine, although begun by the original Harper and Brothers. List of largest UK book publishers, references. External links, official website.